Hey, welcome to Miss Download. I'm Cheryl Poirier. Now, I have a lot of movies and I often lend them out to friends. The problem is that I forget who I lend what movie to. So I end up going over to someone's house and I say, hey, that's a great movie. I actually own it. And they say, yeah, I know it's yours. Do you want it back? So I end up feeling kind of stupid. And in an attempt to look not so stupid, I went in search of a program that would help me. Michael, who is an associate producer here, told me about Collectors.com. This site has programs for a whole bunch of different collectors. Michael uses the Comic Book Collector program to organize his comic book collection, which is extensive. I've seen it. I decided to try out the DVD Blu-ray program. At a basic level, this program organizes your movies and inputs all kinds of data. Let's just take a look at it. So here is my uh, dat movie database. I haven't completed it yet. Like, it's getting there. This, no, I have way more movies than this. But to input a movie, all you do is click on Add, and this window will pop up. Now, I'm going to type in uh, Willow, which is a really favorite movie of mine, and click on Add to Queue. It will drop it down into the little... Uh, grid below and then click on search all and what that does is uh, it searches its extensive database of movies and returns with a few results. You can also actually scan a barcode. There's a barcode on the back of each movie but you actually have to buy a scanner from these guys so just type in the title. So now see we have here several options for Willow. Let me just click on this one to see if you get to preview them before you actually put them in your, your database. And this is actually the copy that I have. So I'm going to click Add Selected and that is going to appear on, oh, there it is, on my list. Now the program downloads information like the year it was released, writers, directors, actors, names, and more. Once the movie is in your database, you can edit it. Why would you want to do that? Well, you get to add your own personal things like where and when you saw the movie, where you bought it. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's click on Willow. And we are going to go to the little movie thing with the pencil on it. And that is actually the edit movie. And once you're in this window, you can click on personal. And this is where you get to add your own personal information. My favorite part of this is the rating system. Right now it has no rating. But I just took that off, and I'm going to give it five stars because I loved this movie. And then we click Update, and we click OK, and there's Willow. Yes, it has a five-star rating. Pretty cool, eh? The feature I actually find handy is the loaner tool. <laughs> so you can look on the, if you look on the right-hand side of the toolbar, you'll see a movie wheel with a red arrow. Click on that, and it brings up a calendar. You can record who borrowed your movie and when. Now, I know that where all my movies are once I do this. And I can do a quick search and filter out all the movies that I've loaned out. Because if there's one thing I hate, it's getting all excited about watching a movie and then going to look for it on my shelf and it not being there. This way, if I want to see a movie, I hold off getting excited about it until I actually know I have it on hand. Collectors.com does have free trials of all their softwares, but it limits the number of items you can actually input. To buy this movie program costs $29.95 for the standard edition, and the pro version costs $49.95. With that pro version, you get added features such as detailed loan manager, which might be good for me, <laughs> a database stats, the ability to browse your collection on Windows Media Center, HTML, and other export capabilities. The program is available for Mac and PC users. Yay! Now remember, there are other database organizers from Collectors.com for comic books, musics, music, books, games, and photos. So you got to check them all out. I'm actually going to get the one for books because I lose more of those than I do movies. I mm -mm, don't know how that happens. Hey, I'm Miss Download, Cheryl Poirier. Check me out at butterscotch.com.